Hello kids. Today we are going to revise the topic four, food and digestion. Which one topic? Food and digestion. So turn the page. Let us revise. Let us revise the lesson first. In some points, we are going to revise the lesson. Point one. The valuable substances present in our food called the nutrients. The five essential nutrients are carbohydrates, fat, protein, vitamin, mineral along with water. The valuable substances present in our food are called the nutrients. The five essential nutrients are carbohydrate, protein, fat, vitamin, mineral along with water second point is digestion digestion of food is a process to change complex food into a simpler digestible food digestion of food is a process to change complex food to a simpler digestible food okay next point is three we use different method of cooking we use different methods of cooking such as roasting baking frying grilling boiling and steaming we use different methods of cooking such as roasting baking frying grilling boiling and steaming fourth point is we preserve food using different methods we preserve food using different methods such as sun drying pickling curing canning and freezing these are all the methods to use a preserved food okay now next we'll revising exercise already we are filled it match date because when we are learning the lesson that time we solved it now we are going to revise okay so see here fill in the blanks by selecting the correct options from those given in the bracket fill in the blanks by selecting the correct options from those given in the these brackets we read this one brackets first respiration dis, digestion circulation three words are there we are selected digestion breaking down of food into simpler forms is called digestion breaking down of food into simpler form is called digestion b options are stomach small intestine and mouth digestion start in the mouth digestion start in the mouth c first options saliva digestive juice from liver and water c in the mouth food when chewed mixed with saliva in the mouth food when chewed with mixed with saliva now d digestion of food is completed in small intestine digestion of food is completed in small intestine e small intestine stomach and large intestine water from the undigested food is absorbed in large intestine digestion finished in small intestine and the water absorbed from undigested food in large intestine okay next question number 2 match the columns next question is match the columns here a column and b column are there we match this one we already matched but again this time we revise this one okay carbohydrates carbohydrates are energy giving nutrients carbohydrates are energy giving nutrients you check your answer is it correct no kids check in your notebook and along with textbook too carbohydrates are energy giving nutrients fats fats are 
provide energy and warmth to our body fats provide energy and warmth to our body protein protein body building nutrients protein body building nutrients vitamins protective nutrients vitamins protective nutrients roughage in helps in roughage helps in roughage to second one helps in easy removal of waste from the body roughage helps in easy removal of waste waste from the body this type you match the both columns okay next give two example each of food rich in give two examples each of food rich in carbohydrate rich in rice and wheat carbohydrate rich in which one food in rice and wheat next protein is rich in cheese and eggs protein is rich in cheese and eggs fat fat is rich in butter and ghee fat is rich in butter and ghee calcium calcium nutrient rich in milk and milk products calcium nutrients rich in milk and milk products iron rich in green leafy vegetables example and green leafy vegetables and vegetables carrot and beets iodine iodine rich in salt and codfish iodine rich in salt and codfish next is number 4 answer the following questions answer the following questions a how do carbohydrates help our body how do carbohydrates help our body carbohydrates are our body's main source of energy they help fuel our brain kidney heart muscles and central nervous system carbohydrates are our body's main source of energy they help fuel our brain kidney heart muscles and central nervous system okay second question is why do we need calcium why do we need calcium we need calcium because it helps in building a strong bones and teeth we need calcium because it helps in building strong bones and teeth question c is iron necessary for our body justify your answers and why are vitamins necessary for our body is iron necessary for our body justify your answers why are vitamins necessary for our body yes answer is yes iron is necessary for our body because iron is an essential element for blood production iron is an essential for blood production so it is a very necessary for our body vitamins are also necessary for our body because vitamins play a key role key role in building the body's immunity immune system and prevent us from the catching infection and diseases vitamins are necessary for our body because vitamins play a key role in building the body's immunity body's immune system and prevent us from catching infections and diseases so next question is d what is a balanced diet what is a balanced diet see a balanced diet 
that contain all the nutrients required by our body in the right amount is called the balanced diet what is a balanced diet okay a diet that contains all nutrients required by our body in the right amount is called a balanced diet e question now explain two methods of food preservation explain two methods of food preservation sun drying and salting one sun drying preservation of food through removal of moisture from it by drying it in sunlight preservation of food through a removal of moisture from it by drying it in sunlight second one is salting germs cannot serve in salt solution so we preserve preserve food in salting by in salt salting is germs cannot survive in salt solution so we must we should preserve food in salt okay now question number 5 give reasons for each of the following give reasons for each of the following a a person doing more physical work need a food rich in carbohydrate give reason give reason a person doing a more physical work need a food rich in carbohydrate because a person doing a more work in work needs a food rich in carbohydrate because carbohydrates provide energy to our body because carbohydrates provide energy to our body it is a energy giving nutrient carbohydrate is a energy giving nutrient so we need a energy to do work b question soap made from green leafy vegetables tomato carrot is given to sick people why soaps made from green leafy vegetables tomato carrot is given to sick people because iron is needed for making a blood and is of found in green leafy vegetables because iron nutrient we found in these vegetables and it iron is help to build making a blood so soup soups made from the green vegetables tomato carrot is given to sick people okay now last question is children need food that is rich in protein why we are giving reason children need food that rich is rich in protein because protein repair worn tissues and muscles of the body children need food that is rich in proteins because proteins repair worn out tissues and muscles of the body understood kids here our lesson revision which one lesson revision over food and digestion lesson revision over you read the lesson revise the lesson revision along with exercise by the question answers too